Yo, Jay Blinked here, introducing the web crawler app for Flipper Zero. Uh, it uses the Wi Fi dev board and your Wi Fi connection uh, to access the internet and scrape data from a URL. Uh, with this new Wi Fi dev board flash that I created, you'll be able to implement internet capabilities across your Flipper apps and scripts. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited. Let's dive into the app. So let's go and open the app. I have my Flipper plugged in here, down to GPIO. Let's just go up for web crawler. All right, so in the configuration view, you can set the path or the URL that you want to scrape along with your Wi-Fi, uh, SSID, and your password, okay? And then once you go and hit run, it will initialize and send a serial command to your Wi-Fi dev board. Uh, from there, it will connect to your Wi-Fi network uh, and send a GET request to your URL. Uh, and then lastly, it will save the return data in a .txt file on your Flipper's SD card. Uh, and you can then open it up on QFlipper um, and do whatever you want with the data. So, I mean, it, it's pretty basic for now. Uh, but I do plan on expanding this by adding in um, authentication, um, other HTTP methods, uh, and the ability to parse the return data um, directly within the app. And now, lastly, there are there are two known bugs that I'm I'm working on. Um, one, there is a three second delay after you click run um, before you move to the console. Um, and the other is that sometimes um, some initial data is missing um, from that saved um, .txt file. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate how to get set up uh, with your Wi-Fi dev board uh, and then how to use the app. Uh, and we will use my Wi-Fi network uh, and my website's home page. Um, so the first thing you need to do is once the app is out or if you do not want to wait, you can go over to GitHub uh, and you can go and download this by hitting download uh, and then you can compile uh, the app yourself using uh, UBFT, which is in the Flipper um, Zeros documentation. Um, but once you have that downloaded, uh, what you're going to need to do is go over to the assets folder, go to the Wi-Fi dev board, and there's a readme here. Uh, and this is this is exactly what we are going to do. We're going to download the, the bin files, uh, and that is used to flash the dev board. Uh, and then we're going to pretty much connect it to your... Um, your, your Flipper Zero and your dev board, and we're gonna flash it over to the, the software, uh, and then we will be able to use the web crawler app. So we will do this live, uh, we can back out of the app. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go um, and download these bin files, and I already have these uh, downloaded, but uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is connect your Flipper Zero to your computer. Mine's already connect. Then you want to open up QFlipper. If you don't have it downloaded, go and download QFlipper. Uh, now we're going to go into, step by step, we're going to go into, click on the file opener right here. If you hover over file manager, I'm sorry. Uh, and then the SD card, uh, SD card, apps data, apps data, and then... ESP flasher, here we go. Okay, and now we're gonna drag all three of those bin files or the entire folder um, into the directory. So I have a lot of stuff open right now, but you can see mine are right here. So I'm just gonna drag this one here. And from the official, let's see, here we go on GitHub. Um, assets, Wi-Fi dev board. This is the exactly what you'll see, including the readme. We're just going to drag that entire thing over. It won't matter. Do the flipper zero, and boom. 
I did not want to do that, probably because of the readme. So we're just going to just drag these three bin folders instead. Oop, no. Oop. Okay, that was pretty weird, but I got that fixed. So we're actually going to drag the entire folder again into here. And there we go. So you can drag the folder. It was just dripping beforehand. Okay, good to go and step by step. Uh, and now we're going to plug in the Wi-Fi dev board into your flipper. I'm not going to flip the camera for this, but you're going to plug the Wi-Fi dev board in. Plug it in. Give me a second. And all right, I'm connected. Uh, and now, while press and holding the boot button, and that is the right button. So there are two buttons. If you have like a cover over, you might not be able to see the buttons, but it is the button on the right. Uh, if, if you're looking at the front of the flipper. So you're going to press and keep holding that uh, while you press the reset button once. So you hold that and then press the reset button one time. And then you release the boot button after two seconds. So I just let it go. Okay, now we're going to open up the ESP Flasher app. We can head back over to um, here and we can look at the screen um, as an app. So uh, I am using Unleash, but you can um, download the ESP Flasher. It's on the official app store, so I'm very sure you can download it even if you're using the official software. Definitely please comment and let me know if that is not true and I will edit uh, this for sure. Uh, you're going to download ESP Flasher step by step. Um, now we're going to click on manual flash. Okay. Uh, and now we're going to click on bootloader. Got you. We'll click on bootloader and we're going to select the bootloader file. There's the folder and there's the bootloader. Uh, now we're going to click on part table. The partition, click on the folder, and that goes to the partitions. Uh, and then down over to firmware A, and then we click on right here, firmware A. And then if I'm not mistaken, we hit flash. Yep. Um, we click on flash, flash fast, uh, and then we're going to follow the instructions. We we'll hit OK, it's connecting. Okay, I was able to get it by disconnecting from QFlipper uh, and unplugging the USB from the computer. So go over to manual flash, click on bootloader, select bootloader file for part table, select partitions, and then for firmware A, select firmware, and then hit flash fast, and there we go. Focusing on that, you guys can see that yeah, you cannot have the USB connected to your computer. That is a big, big no-no when you are flashing. Done flashing. Please reset the menu. Perfect. We're good to go. Now let's flip over to my computer. All right, now we're back on the Mac. We have Q Flipper plugged in. Go and hit OK. Go to the apps. We're going to go down to GPIO. Uh, let's go up all the way to web crawler. Uh, and I already have my stuff configured. I'm not going to show you my SSID and the password, um, but the path is set to my website, jblank.com. And we can change that right here if we needed to. The default is x.com, so you can go and Change that. And we'll go hit backspace. Oop, sorry, wrong button I'm on the computer. So <laughs> go back up. Yeah, let's just use the flipper for this. It'd be a little bit easier. Uh, and then J. A. N. K. E. E. Dot com. Save. That pops up there. And again, I already have my username and password set from my internet. Uh, and then we'll go and hit run. As soon as you click run, there's a little wait, and then it will show you that it's initializing. Uh, we are saving the data, please wait. 
once it's done, it'll kick you back out to the sub menu and we're good to go. And now we can go and look at the file. If we hit back on QFlipper, go to the file manager, SD card, go to um, apps data, scroll down to web crawler app. And here we are, receive data dot text. We'll go and download that. Um, put this in my download and let's receive data new. Um, and let's close out of all these random stuff I have pulled up. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff pulled up. Okay, down to the downloads. And here we go. So this is what it returned. And you kind of see part of the book earlier. It missed the initial part of that HTML, but it pretty much got everything. This um, shows you, you know, we can go to my website from here. Um, and we need to log out so you can see the home view. But what it first pulled up actually is this picture. If we go to click J blank, it pulled up this picture here actually. Uh, and this is what it saved in this HTML file. Okay, so here we go. That is the web crawler. That's how you can flash uh, the new firmware onto um, your dev board so that you can use the app and send those uh, Git requests. Now, if you want to follow the development of this app, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Um, and I submitted this app to the official store um, earlier today. So hopefully sometime this week or um, really hopefully tomorrow or the next day after that, we will have this up on the app store and you can go and download that. Um, for now, um, you can check out the GitHub page and compile the app yourself if, if you prefer not to wait. Again, if you want to follow the development of this app, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Let's go.